Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we find ourselves in Santa Barbara, California, as we follow Katie Kidman around in the performance of her normal duties. Hi again. Can I ask you a question real quick? You don't mind? You can ask. Okay. Uh, so, uh, we're just wondering what's going on, or is there a reason you're filming us, or? Um, yes, officer. She's there to get clicks and views for her YouTube channel. She wants to see some hostile reactions from you. So if you don't mind, if you could stand over there and provide some action for her, uh, that would be just great. It's totally within your right, I get it. Is there a reason why you're bothering me? No, we're not. We're not bothering you. We're just here. That you for came a out here in these clown outfits with your guns and your tasers and you're calling in my van. No, and... so we actually got called because uh, somebody's wondering about Because me. no crime is being committed? And they're wasting taxpayers' money, Garcia? And you, Morel? You guys are dismissed. Oh, come on, officers. You're acting way too professional for clicks and views. Show some rage. She can't be the only one that shows her passion for what she does. You gotta get into the act. She needs clicks and views for her YouTube channel. So come on, help her out. Okay, so There's no crime. So There's no victim. Okay. They're wasting your time and mine. Sorry, are you aware of the 72 hour parking lot? The only crime here is that they're not mad enough for your YouTube video to get you clicks and views. They need serious help to become unprofessional. 70, that, about an abandoned vehicle? Like no, maybe so that I, one over there? Unless you move your vehicle for every 72 hours, um, it is subject to tow if it hasn't moved within 72 hours. It's too Whatever, you're dismissed. Goodbye. Okay. Oh no, officers, you didn't show enough uh, unprofessionalism and rage for her, so she had to fire you from the set. I apologize for the inconvenience. Well, I, I can actually stand right here. Yeah, so you can go look at that van over there, too. Okay, yeah, that's actually the van we thought, because they actually both are very similar. Because that one's been sitting here a lot longer. Okay. So you might so, want to check that out, because there's nothing going on here. So okay. you're dismissed. Um, Don't waste my tax-paying money. So we're, we're here on behalf of somebody else who called, right? Um, so do you kind of understand, though, in terms of if, if the vehicle isn't moved within 72 hours, it could be subject to... Do you kind of understand that this is the United States of America? Absolutely. Or have we moved into China or something? Hey, officers, she's trying to direct you to get angry again. You need to do so for clicks and views. She needs to see that unprofessionalism for her YouTube channel to get clicks and views. Please provide that for her. After all, she can't do all the work by standing there insulting you all day. What's that? You guys look like a couple of Nazis. Oh, thanks. And you're acting like Nazis, too. Oh, you almost had the reductio ad hitherum. Now, if they can put you on a train to Auschwitz, then they would be Nazi sympathizers. So run along. No crime's been broken here. 
Okay, so I'm just advising you that. You don't advise me of anything. If the vehicle goes nothing at all. I could be your mother. It could be subject to tow, okay? Subject to nothing. You could suck my toe if you want to. Oh, but they don't know where your toes have been. That would be rather unhygienic and rather dangerous. In the meanwhile, skedaddle. And stop coming out on calls that are frivolous, where there's no crime that has been committed. Okay. Oh, well, I didn't know that the only task of police officers was just to investigate crimes. I mean... I need to tell this officer over here that he needs to stop performing CPR on that man that's laying on the ground. Hey, officer, stop that. You're in violation of the law. And supporting people like this that have nothing better to do than to bother somebody. I pay my taxes. Sure. My tag is oh, yeah, up to date. Totally current. I have everything. Yeah, so no, I'm, I'm legally parked here. Totally so agree. for yes, you guys, for these guys to come up here, this man... And the one over there across the street, they ran inside their houses after they called you. They ran away after they called the police? I wonder why, Karen. And complain and everybody to be sitting out here. It's like very un-American and freaky. Real freaky. Because like, where I come from, yeah. cops, real cops, you, don't, do go, from, don't go bother uh, grandmothers that are reading the Bible and praying. Oh, was pulling out the religion card on that one, huh? You know, I've known a few grandmothers who read the Bible and pray, but they're not exactly saints themselves. In fact, that's been known to be a good cover for getting people to leave you alone while you do your own nefarious things. Where I'm from? Well, let me see. Uh, I'm from wherever God is from. serious yeah okay. what about you uh, local local yep. no God in your life maybe maybe not but all right it doesn't uh, look like it like I said if, uh, because people like you are the ones that crucified Jesus what you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. God have mercy on your soul. Did you know that? That's all I'm saying. All right. The brainwashing that goes on for you guys to go right, crucify yeah. a Have holy a man. Day. and wash your hands of it, and then get uniforms on and come out here and bother somebody that hasn't done anything wrong and try to give me directives? Oh, I'm sorry, officers, but you didn't provide enough anger for her. You were too professional, so you need to go home now before you humiliate yourselves any further. You guys need to stop, stop coming out on calls like this. You need to start telling these people that, you know, the person that they're calling on didn't do anything wrong. Because what you're doing now is called the walk of shame. No, Karen. What you are doing is projecting. You're projecting your own faults onto everybody else. And you are doing the walk of shame. Because I had to dismiss you and now this is the walk of shame for both of you all are on... Wow, what trauma did you suffer in your childhood to make you this angry and vitriolic? On camera, doing the walk of shame. Now that's really embarrassing, Garcia. All right, no, what's really embarrassing is that your neighbors are going to see you acting like this to uh, these two professional cops that walked into your neighborhood. Another directive. Two, two officers here that need to be dismissed, and they're both doing the walk and drive of shame. Oh boy, you are really batting a thousand for stupid comments today. Wanting to know where I'm from. And their car, both of their, both cars look like pigsties. One. And that one.
Get another job! Get a better personality, Karen! Get another job, clown! You guys are embarrassing, wasting taxpayer money. Go on. Now you gotta make a show out of it for the neighbors over here. No, they didn't provide a good show, but I'm sure you did that uh, very well all by yourself. I'm sure your neighbors will be talking about it for a long time to come. Turn your lights off. There's no emergency here. <laughs> you guys are a couple of dinglings. Shandula. Who's calling who a dingling, Karen? Well, there you have it, folks. That's one Karen I would never want to be around, no matter what job I had. Until next time, folks, have a good day, good night, or whatever, and I'll see you on the next show. So don't forget to rate, comment, share, and subscribe.